Welcome to the Wall Bracing Design Course. Whether you are a design enthusiast, a professional residential designer, an architect, or an engineer, this course is built for you. The Wall Bracing Design Course is the fourth module in a four-module series that also includes the conventional roof framing module, the wall and foundation framing module, and the conventional floor and deck framing module. This training series is intended to deliver a top-notch learning experience that is centered on the structural design of wood-framed residential structures according to the adopted state residential codes that are based on the International Residential Code. Nearly all states in the United States have adopted the International Residential Code by the International Code Council. This module, and all the other modules in this series may be used to provide continuing education units or CEUs that are required by the International Code Council as well as various professional organizations and government agencies. The development of this course was guided by the assumption that the primary reason you are considering taking this course is to acquire the ability to complete the structural design of residential buildings and put together a complete set of structural drawings for permit issuance and construction. We have also considered that you may not have any training as a civil or structural engineer. Therefore, we have spared no effort to ensure that this course has the capacity to help you achieve the objectives that brought you here. The good news is that you do not need to be a civil or structural engineer to complete a conventional construction design in all the states where the International Residential Code is adopted. The structural design process begins after the architectural design is completed which means that the structural designer works within the architectural concept. The structural design consists of the development of a system of structural elements to resist gravity loads such as dead loads, live loads and snow loads as well as lateral loads including wind loads and seismic loads. Wall bracing is specifically installed to provide support against lateral loads such as wind loads and seismic loads and therefore belongs to a system of structural elements known as the lateral force resisting system. This course will not just look at wall bracing in isolation. Rather, we will look at the entire lateral load resisting system and see how everything comes together to form a robust structural framework that conforms to the adopted building codes. We will start by breaking down the intricacies of wind and seismic loading as it is envisaged in the building codes. At this introductory stage, we will guide you through a comprehensive lesson on the fundamental parameters that underpin the wind and seismic design criteria. This will ensure that you will gain a thorough understanding of their development and application in design practice. This comprehensive introduction will open the way that allows us to dive into the heart of wall bracing. We will embark on a thorough and extremely rigorous exploration on the code provisions for the design and construction of different wall bracing methods where we will focus on the most common bracing methods before exploring the limitations for mixing bracing methods on a project. We will look at the properties of braced wall lines and the code provisions governing their placement on a floor plan. Additionally, we will look at the placement of wall bracing along a braced wall line including all the constraints that govern the location, spacing and distribution of wall bracing. This will bring us to the load path section where you will learn how all the critical elements come together to form a continuous system that has sufficient capacity to transfer lateral loads from the roof to the foundations. Additionally, we will cover all the requirements for the foundation supporting braced walls. After looking at the design of code-compliant structures, the final section will be on irregular structures. We will undertake an in-depth and highly detailed examination of the code provisions defining structural conditions that are classified as irregular structures. These are architectural and sometimes structural elements that create conditions that are not envisaged or anticipated by the prescriptive code provisions. We will show you how to avoid these conditions where it is possible to do so and outline the alternative option where such conditions cannot be avoided. This course is carefully designed and crafted to deliver full value. We will take you on a learning journey that consists of three carefully structured and exceptionally delivered critical elements. The first element consists of a comprehensive exposition of the code provisions on conventional wall bracing. This is where we will immerse ourselves into the code content using state-of-the-art graphics to bring to life the static code provisions. Additionally, you will have access to our quizzes to enhance your learning and broaden your understanding of the code provisions. The second element consists of the use of examples to demonstrate the application of code provisions. 
This will allow us to uncover deep lessons and key insights into the rigor necessary for code-compliant design. This hands-on approach enhances your learning by showing how the principles we discuss are applied in actual projects, helping you connect theory with practice. The third element which is the crown jewel of this course is the comprehensive design project that we will undertake towards the end of this course. This is where we will take you through the thought process, the considerations and the work that goes into initiating and completing a wall bracing design from the architectural layouts to the final construction drawings. While this is not a drafting course, we will expose you to the drafting experience and show you how drawings are put together including the information that needs to be provided on those drawings. The drawings that we will use in selected examples and the drawings that we will develop in the design project will be available for you to download and use to enhance your learning. Whether you're looking to expand your professional skills, enhance your DIY expertise, or simply understand wall bracing at a deeper level, this course has everything you need to succeed. Your journey to mastering wall bracing design starts here. Join us and let us build something amazing together.